What happens to the stored fat in your body when you lose weight? Is it converted into energy or muscle? Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley. Actually, when you lose weight, most of the fat leaves your body as exhaled carbon dioxide. The remaining portion is lost as water, whether that be in urine, feces, or sweat. When you burn fat, it is not converted to muscle or energy. Chemical reactions in your body must obey the law of conservation of mass, which states that mass is neither created nor destroyed during a chemical reaction. Weight loss occurs when atoms, which have mass, leave your body. So it's not really correct to think about weight loss as calories in, calories out, because that's referring to energy, not mass. You consume nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon atoms in the form of absorbed carbohydrates, fat, protein, and water. To lower your body weight, you need to lose more of those nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon than you take in. Of all the elements, carbon is the most important one that you're taking in every day. To, to lose weight, your body needs to be able to extract those carbon atoms that are in triglyceride molecules that are stowed away in your fat cells. Your body stores fat as triglycerides. You then exhale most of those carbon, carbon atoms in the form of carbon dioxide. You could almost say that you're vaporizing your fat. First, let's summarize how metabolism occurs in your body. So humans require energy to perform work or physical activity. Fuel from food is broken down or oxidized by contracting muscles during exercise. The most common fuels that we use are carbohydrates or glucose and fat. Oxygen is used to break down glucose and fat to produce energy. Carbon dioxide and water are released as byproducts. Energy is stored in your body in the form of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, to be used later. Excess fat or carbohydrates that are not needed for fuel are stored as triglycerides in your fat cells. One triglyceride molecule is composed of 55 carbons, 104 hydrogens, and six oxygens. Oxygen that you inhale is used to oxidize or break down a triglyceride molecule thereby producing 55 carbon dioxide molecules, 50 water molecules, and energy, which is stored in the form of ATP to be used later. If you were to follow each atom of one triglyceride molecule as it leaves your body, you would find that 84% of the triglyceride's mass leaves your body as carbon dioxide. The remaining 16% exits your body as water. In other words, when you lose 10 pounds of fat, 8.4 pounds leaves your body through your lungs as carbon dioxide, and the remaining 1.6 pounds is turned into water, which is eventually lost in urine, feces, or sweat. When you consider that most of the fat in your body must be exhaled in order to lose weight, it becomes more obvious why you have to consume less carbon in the form of food in the first place. In fact, it would be extremely difficult to lose weight by exercise alone. So perhaps instead of the old weight loss mantra, calories in, calories out, we should think carbon in, carbon out. Thank you for listening. I hope that this is helpful for you.